Saturday afternoon. I have to get my car washed. The pollen is so bad here in Orlando. I think it's like the worst it's ever been. I don't get allergies, but all of a sudden I have them. So the pollen is just really bad. So I want to do that. I need to get like a few toiletry stuff from Target. I'm running out of shampoo, but I really want to try the Olaplex shampoo, but Sephora is doing a sale in the next month. So I'm going to try, I'm just going to get like my shampoo that I still am using currently um, again. And then I'm going to try the Olaplex shampoo when Sephora has their spring sale. Because I can wait, it's fine. And I would love to save 20%. And that way I can just like buy a few things. My shampoo is fine, I just really want to try the Olaplex. And then, Christian and I are going to Trader Joe's. We haven't been there in so long, it's actually been like probably two months since the last time we went to Trader Joe's it's been so long so we need to stock up on just like easy foods that we could make then I needed to go to Costco and stock up on chicken breasts if you don't know Costco has really good deals on chicken breasts and they come vacuum sealed already you can just pop them in the freezer and you don't have to worry about them getting like freezer burn or whatever also um I would love it if you guys followed me on Instagram I really have a goal of trying to get to 10k followers I know that's kind of stupid to have like a goal for that but I want to because I want to have that swipe up feature for easy linking for my YouTube so I'm just gonna be honest there and I'm really getting creative with my Instagram I'm finally like posting things that inspire me or um, just like letting my creativity kind of go with um like go into my instagram so um here's like a little snippet of my instagram check it out follow give me a follow um so yeah i did want to start shouting out my instagram because i do link it below in each video but not everyone checks the description box so follow me on instagram this is my name that's about it so we're gonna go to trader joe's probably we'll do a trader joe's haul from Trader Joe's. I guess I'll start off um, grainless tortilla chips. These looked good. Everything but the bagel seasoned kettle cooked potato chips. Two of these sourdough breads because I love the sourdough bread and I just keep it in the freezer and then the bread lasts a while. So we only go to Trader Joe's not too often. So got two. White cheddar popcorn. Christian got these. Rice cracker medley. Christian got these. We got some avocado, some sweet potatoes because we really like that recipe where you bake sweet potato like chips and then you put avocado on top with everything but the bagel seasoning and garlic powder. So good. To everything but the bagel seasoning, Trader Joe's hash browns. These are amazing in the air fryer. Got to cucumber. These are the best. I have talked about them before on my channel. They're so good. I love the lemon and strawberry flavor, so I just got some of these. Mozzarella sticks for the air fryer. Sweet potato fries. Sweet potato gnocchi. I love sweet potatoes. Fruit, um, some frozen fruit for smoothies. I got this creamy garlic cucumber dip fried rice, orange chicken, just easy dinner, really good. I got more butter. This is like my favorite butter. My mom used to buy this butter when we were young, so I just stuck to it. I don't know. It's like familiar. You know how you, when you have like certain products when you're young that your parents buy, you tend to like buy them as an adult because it's like familiar. Trader Joe's <laughs> ginger shots, need I say more? They're the best. I got a cayenne kombucha. I'm like so into kombucha again. I used to drink them every single day in college. I always had one as like an afternoon pick-me-up. Spinach for smoothies. We love these um, burgers. So we got some of these. Corn, I don't know, Christian got some of this stuff. Roasted corn, this would be so good for like a taco salad bowl. 
chili lime chicken burgers. These are incredible. The mini beef tacos and mini chicken tacos. These are so good. It's just like a little lunch thing. Build your own taco plate. So I'll cook these and then I'll put like some lettuce, cheese, tomato, sour cream, guac on a plate. And it's just like a little build your own taco. So that's the Trader Joe's haul. This is the one thing that you should never take for granted is being grateful for a full fridge and freezer of food. Just seeing this like makes me so grateful that I can go out and stock my fridge and freezer to where it looks like this and I don't run out of food. So don't take these things for granted that you can take for granted on a daily basis just because not everyone can go out and stock their freezer and fridge whenever they need to. So don't take this for granted, but this is just, this just puts me in like a spot where I'm like, wow, I'm grateful for this. I got another one of these shower liners because first of all, I just didn't know they got this gross so quickly. I don't know. We've only been living here for like, how many months has it been? Eight months. And it's just gross looking it has like shampoo all over it and body wash so i'm gonna change it out for a new one and throw that other one out these are so cheap from target they're like 6.99 so i'm gonna change it out so that way we have like a clean fresh one i don't know it's little things like this that make me happy look how gross this gets do you see all that <laughs> here look at the new one <laughs> sorry for all of the shoes you can just see, see so clear. It's so much nicer. Also got some more hangers. These are my favorite hangers. I've been using these for so long, probably since freshman year of college. So like 2013. So probably seven or eight years. I love them. They're so good. You can get them from Target. I think they're like $6 for a pack of 10. All of my clothes are on these black like felt hangers and I absolutely love them. I'm gonna make a kombucha. My hair, we need to put that behind. So we have some pita crackers and cucumber and I'm gonna be dipping it in this tzatziki creamy garlic cucumber dip. going to get dinner and drinks somewhere tonight and I want to show you my outfit um I wore this shirt not too long ago when we went to St. Augustine and it's a bodysuit and it buttons up right here it's from Princess Polly bless you and then I'm wearing sorry there's some trash that we're gonna take out when we go because we have valet trash but we don't have valet trash friday night and saturday night so we wanted to take out that trash with us so please ignore um these jeans are from abercrombie these boots are from target they're old though so they're just sock booties <laughs> this is the outfit we're going to this place called tori tori i've never been before but um we're going with AP, the guy from the my two vlogs or three um, that we went on the lake with. I think we're going to this place called Sunroom after, which is like a drinks place. I'll try and get as much vlog footage as I can. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on.
Trader Joe's. So I just got home. I'm really bummed because yesterday I went to Trader Joe's and they don't have like any other oat milks that are cold that are not the Trader Joe's brand. So I couldn't get my Oatly there. And I drink the Oatly oat milk and I love it. It's my favorite. And then I went to Target after and they didn't have Oatly there. And I went to Publix today trying to find my Oatly oat milk and they were out of stock there too. I got this brand i don't know if it's any good i feel like i used to drink this brand of almond milk before i discovered oat milk last year but i mean this could be a good thing who knows this could be my my favorite new favorite got more of this sweet cream chobani when i do iced coffee i like putting it it's like a starbucks sweet cream cold foam dupe i guess you could say i got this i've been seeing ads for it all over instagram for a while now and tiktok i think probiotic or prebiotic soda and it was expensive they're like 8.49 for a pack of four so ice in a cup smells like summer Not bad yeah it's good now I'm meal prepping my lunches so this is red pepper Brussels sprouts onion and butternut squash and I'm about to top it with this turkey sausage put it in the oven for 15 minutes flip the sausage over and then put it back in for another 15 minutes and then it should be done so I'm gonna do that now and this is the finished product I put it on broil for like the last five minutes so I'm gonna put this in my little containers and this will be my lunch for the week yeah.